three days left until deadline. No. What shall I do? Time is short. Looks promising. Oh gosh. Right on track. So, there are two big news. First, this is the first snow in Bavaria by the end of this year. And second, I had a phone call with my old client who I haven't heard of for a couple of years now. And I got a big job from him. My client is a small agency and the brand I'm gonna do the animation for is a really big German automaker. I'm not allowed to talk about the project in specific, so this video is gonna be spoiler free. But I want to share with you my creative process. As I said, it's a very sensitive project and it's about a car that is not even out now. But I will definitely show you some innocuous um, visuals I'm gonna work on, except for the logo and the product itself, at least for now. But right now, I don't have anything to show because I literally sit in front of a blank sheet of paper. In the briefing, it says that the client wishes an 80s neon look. It should have a, a retro mood, yet modern. So the first thing I have to do is uh, visual research, and my favorite source is Pinterest. When I start a project, there is always this certain pressure inside me, although I'm quite experienced. This time, the job requires some amount of 3D animation. And after looking at some inspirations, I've come to the conclusion that I have to refresh some 3D skills and I have to catch up with some new features in Cinema 4D, my favorite 3D tool. I definitely have to catch up with uh, some things in Cinema 4D, like the material note system. I haven't touched the field system yet. I don't know anything about it. I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna use this on this project, but who knows. Good morning, guys. Isn't that a nice bright weather outside? The roofs are still covered with snow. After having watched numerous video tutorials, even all night long, I think it's time to create my first style frames. That's my task for today. Ah, coffee, this is all what I need. Ah, when I get a job, my brain immediately starts to work, finding a concept, finding a visual, I even dream of it. With a new skill set I have now in my 3D program, an initial idea is formed. These were the initial inspirations I found on Pinterest. But I wanted to go the minimalistic way, maybe with a bit of complexity inside. I played around in Cinema 4D with cloners, fields, and I came up with this solution. Usually, I create my style frames directly in my animation tools, although I just put out still images. This is a time saver because in case my client approves the design, I can start to animate instantly. Unfortunately, I can't tell you what this symbol is all about, but when you are an expert in the car industry, maybe things are gonna add up for you. The reason why my approach is minimalistic is that the deadline is in 11 days and showing the client a complex thing would put more unnecessary pressure on me, especially when it's done in 3D. Keeping the expectations low, yet giving my client something that blows his mind is always a dilemma you face when you are a freelancer. Look at that sky, guys. That's the benefit of living in the countryside. I wrote my client an email and explained to him my, my minimalistic approach and sent. That was the point of no return. Oh gosh, I hate the rain. So it's been six hours now since I sent my layouts. I'm still waiting for my client's feedback and it totally makes me insane to wait that long. I'm gonna go and shop some food meanwhile. Sparkled water, tomato juice, tomatoes, cheese, cheese, Coke, Coke. Zero? That was a mistake. Cool. Hopefully I can find it here. I found my coat. 
The only way to get something here in Germany after 8 p.m. is at the gas station. That's the regional law here. It's really important to me to have a fast reply from my client because of the tight deadline. So in a case of disapproval, I can react quickly. There could be a couple of reasons why my client doesn't answer yet. First, my design is so extremely bad that he's still writing a long feedback mail. Second, there are so many decision makers who have to approve my design. Third, my client is so overwhelmed that he's simply speechless. Today, I feel a bit sick, maybe I got a cold, and that's a topic on its own because what are you gonna do when you're sick and you have a tight deadline and you have to deliver something? Maybe I'm gonna cover that in another vlog. Now, let me check my emails. Okay, I got feedback. Let me try to translate this. Sorry for replying late. I've already showed the moods to the client and we are right on track. When your client approves your design, that's almost half the battle. It can be a long process, but this time I was very lucky. I had a hole in one. <coughs> oh, I've definitely caught a bad cold, but don't worry, I'm still productive. Meanwhile, I started to do some uh, animation tests and it's rendering already. I really love Boki. While it's rendering, I'm gonna do some music research. Before I talk about music, I'm gonna show you how I approach my motion design experiments. Basically, I fiddle around in Cinema 4D. As I don't have so much time, I look for a way where I can create complexity and diversity without building a complex animation setup. There is a system in Cinema 4D called MoGraph where I can animate thousands of objects without animating every single element. This is the principle. Consider this grid of boxes as an LDD screen. Each cube represents a diode and with the help of an animated black and white pattern I can not only make the boxes glow, the pattern also drives the height of each element. So, when the boxes hit the white area, they start to glow and grow. In the black areas, the boxes stay dark and small. Here comes the fun part. I can now animate simple 2D animations in After Effects that is less time consuming than doing the animation in Cinema 4D. Now, make the boxes tiny, give them a shiny material and here you have a very fancy animation. Now let's talk about music. It's uh, really hard to describe how I find the right music uh, for my video because uh, it's more or less intuitive. It helps first that I'm a musician and second I know lots of songs and I'm aware what kind of emotions they can evoke not only for me but uh, maybe for others too. Luckily, in most music libraries, you can find the right song systematically. For example, Find Me, an uplifting or sad song. Now that I found this song, I can finally start to make an animatic. By definition, an animatic would look like this, which is simply an animated storyboard animated still pictures to give the client an idea how the final animation possibly will look like. Because time is short, I took a further step and I already animated the camera. In this case, I'll take the risk to make my animatic as final looking as possible. And my animatic looks like this. <laughs> Okay, stop, this is so boring, but I do not have the time to do the camera animation again. What shall I do? If you think you've made very boring 3D camera movements and you don't have the time to recreate all this, then I have a one-fits-all solution for you. Make a fast cut edit. That always works. And it looks like this. <laughs> That's cold. 
I sent the little glimpse to my client so he got a better idea of what is going on. I got feedback, he was excited, his client was excited. So what's next? I have to complete the animatic. And I need more camera shots because the minimum length of the animation has to be 15 seconds. And a fast cut edit requires more than two camera angles. And of course the logo animation that I'm not allowed to show you. Uh, as you can hear, I still have my cold, but luckily it, it hasn't gone worse. I'm still able to work. I have no other choice because I have to deliver in, in four days. Today I promised my client to give him a complete animatic of the whole spot from the start to the end screen to the final logo animation. It's already 7 p.m. As you can see in the background I still have to render some 3D scenes and I have to cut them together, composite them together, put some, some effects on it. Hopefully my client uh, approves it. And I need a approval today because uh, tomorrow I want to set up the final rendering. I hope it won't be a long night. Look at this, that looks promising. Normally when I start the animation, I get to the result very soon. But when it comes to refinements, when you polish those things, putting in some details, things get really time consuming. So you render something, you wait, hours and you find a mistake or you have the feeling that you have to tweak here and there things that you would have done better then you render it again maybe you're not that satisfied with the result again and render and so forth and so on this is why 3d is is so time consuming and normally more expensive than let's say editing a video this is so nerve-wracking It is uh, 9.15 p.m. and uh, as you can see rendering is ongoing, looks nice, but I underestimated the rendering time and I don't think that, that I'm gonna start the compositing today or tonight, although I promised my client to deliver him something, but I'm gonna check my emails. He hasn't complained yet and this is why I decided to stop my work today and wake up early in the morning tomorrow and complete my animatic. Good night guys. <sighs> Three days left until deadline by the way. Okay, I give myself five minutes to do my morning routine and then I'm gonna start full speed. This is where I edited the animation to the music beat. I dissected the monotonous sequences of different camera movements and recomposed them in an edgy way. Then I put some glitch effects on top of that, which are the icing on the cake. Seven a.m. Again, it's still foggy outside. The client approved my animatic, so I rendered my 3D files uh, over the weekend. See if it worked well. Today is Monday and I started 3D rendering on Friday. Before I made a render test on some random frames. Each frame took about two minutes to render. So with thousand frames to render, it needs 33 hours. I know thousand frames is uh, way more than I need, but that has a reason. However, with this knowledge, I took the weekend off. When I'm not mistaken, rendering must be finished by yesterday, but you never know. Okay, it's still yellow. Rendering is ongoing. Yeah, obviously I was wrong. It took a bit longer to render than 33 hours. Maybe some 3D scenes were more complicated to render than I thought, but um, I am very, very lucky because it's the last scene to render out of five. Um, there's still about 30 frames to render. It will take maybe one to one and a half hours. That means I'm gonna drink a coffee first.
The 3D rendering worked very, very well, which first isn't so self-evident because normally little tiny mistakes pop up that you normally overlooked in lower resolution and you better see in the higher resolution. I'm quite relaxed because um, my client is so excited, my client's client is so excited. Again, it was a hole in one 0.0, .0 change request that's a really rare situation but maybe my client is just aware that the deadline is today so no time for further change requests so my very last tasks for today are to transform the lower resolution animatic to HD resolution and to deliver the final animation to my client so this is my edit of the animatic looks quite chaotic. This is because um, when I'm in a creative flow and when I have less time, it always looks like this. But I already tidied up my chaotic edit. Looks like this, much better. I've already imported the 3D files and what I'm gonna do now is um, match the high resolution files to the low resolution files. Bin gespannt auf euer Feedback. That's German and it means looking forward to your feedback. So now that's the moment of the truth. I'm gonna send the final clip to my client and um, let's hope that he's happy with it. And send. Okay, it's done. A couple of days have passed by, my project is successfully closed, I got a new haircut and I recovered fully from my cold so I look quite normal again. Now you got an impression how my motion design workflow looks like. Of course every project is different, not every project looks like this. If you're interested to see more of this, please like my video and subscribe my channel. Uh, before I uh, forget, here's the final result.